you're nice. fat, you're ugly, you're like, stupid, you're yeah, all those things. Not saying that you are. <laughs> These are things that you say. Yes. But to recognize that those are <laughs> Morning, fam. It's a great day. Have we even started yet? Nope. You ready? Yep. Oh, hi. We're gonna do some questions. Is that how the intro goes? That's how it goes. Wow. Today. She's not really feeling it. We have two more hours, and I just want to be home. Oh yeah, I feel you, girl. All right, here we go. Questions coming from the Twitter At BXRXOX, no name, just a flower emoji. She, I'm assuming it's a she because it's a girl, asks. <laughs> it's a girl in the picture. What religion other than Christianity intrigues you the most? Um, I have a couple friends from college who identify as Buddhist. And it's definitely very interesting. Um, I like hearing about all other religions. I think they're very interesting and I try to be very respectful of other people and what they believe. Um, so, yeah, I, I think Buddhism is interesting. I, I love a lot of the hallmarks of the Buddhist faith and agree with a lot of them as far as, you know, peace and... So you're a Buddhist? So I'm basically a Buddhist. Um, the, a religion that intrigues me, or I just am interested in learning more about other than Christianity, uh, is probably Islam. I find that the Muslim faith is probably one of the most misunderstood. Totally. Um, and just, like, there are so, like, I imagine at, as a, as a Christian who gets very angry at a lot of other types of Christians who are maybe a little more fundamentalist than I am or who uh, express their faith in a way that I don't necessarily agree is true to the heart of the faith, I think there are probably a lot of Muslims out there who feel the same way about totally. fundamentalist Muslim organizations and things like that that are like, oh, you're giving us a bad name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that would just, that would be sort of a common ground that I think I could find with a lot of people of the Muslim faith, which would be interesting to have those discussions. Another religion I was very interested in is I watched a documentary called Going Clear on HBO about the Church of Scientology. Right. And man, it was really interesting. Maybe more of a cult than a religion, but very interesting. Yeah. Not interested in a good way, but. Right. Uh, obviously, I'm not looking to convert to any of these, but it is always, it's just smart to educate yourself. Michaela asks, biggest fear in life and how do you overcome it? Uh, one of my biggest fears is not being able to have kids. How do you overcome that? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, one of my biggest fears is like getting taken hostage, but that's, this is not the type how of question she's asking. It? She's asking like, I was afraid of public speaking, and I... <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, hey, I like the way you took it. <laughs> Jennifer asks, any advice for what to do when you have low self-esteem? Watch who you are, message all women. <laughs> How to have my identity in Christ? Yeah, I mean, just, I think, remind yourself of who you are in God's eyes and surround people, surround yourself with people that treat you as though they see you as a daughter of God or a son of God, either or. But um, yeah, it's always so nice to have like John, that if I have low self-esteem or I'm feeling really self-conscious about, you know, whatever it is, whether it's like how I look or am I doing a good enough job or this or that, it's so nice to have somebody that is able to like affirm these things that I know are true about all of God's children, but I am temporarily forgetting because we can be so mean to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I think we often can be far more mean to ourselves than we are to other people. Oh, yeah. Like the biggest bullies of us are us usually, you know? I think it's also important to sort of recognize when you're having those thoughts 
and like I feel like I'm at a point now where like I just know I'm having like a day where I'm feeling like oh my gosh you know you're terrible you're whatever and I'm able to sort of recognize you're fat you're ugly you're like, stupid you're you know all those things not saying that you are <laughs> these are things that you say yes but to recognize that those are <laughs> you just pop in one minute like, you're fat you're ugly you're stupid that this is how I affirm her <laughs> just to sort of recognize okay I'm hearing these thoughts are these thoughts valid no I am like putting myself down for no reason turn right. those thoughts off or try to distract yourself and move on to something new go out and take a walk go do something you know right try to get yourself out of that yeah I think ha like finding your identity in Christ doesn't mean that you don't have those thoughts anymore it's just you're able to in the moment recognize that those thoughts or those feelings are not true mm -hmm. You know, you learn how to take a different perspective. Katie asks, favorite song of the moment? River, Leon Bridges. Nope. Take me to the river. Yeah. I wanna go. It's called River, right? Yeah. But I thought we could finish off this question time with Sweet Bear with a short little interview from me. Okay. On Let's talk about vacation. What were your highlights of this last va 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 vacation? Vacation. Riding our bikes on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, I liked the dog. Oh, by the way, you always do this when you start to make a list of things. You like, start to point and then move it to like rubbing my neck. Well, fine. Which is nice and super sexy. Keep it up. Ew. The soup. Yeah, the soup at Vine. The was Irish like, bisque. Irish, it was a like Dublin bisque. The Dublin bisque. It was like a brie cheese soup. It was so good. It was divine. Divine! It was, in a word, delicious. delicious. Plus, our server there was quite our the server character. Was a so. character, man. Shout out to Steven. Hope he watches the vlog. Hope he watches. I mean, I had such fun. I did too. I had a great time. A great time. The reason that I've been talking in an Australian accent for the last couple of days on and off is because during the Masters, one of the commentators is like Australian. He's got this accent. And so we've been like commentating our lives. Sweet Bay drove the car, state after state. You would never know it, but they're wearing the same thing they wore yesterday. Oh yeah, I'm glad we commented on that because we look rough. They're looking kind of rough this afternoon. Anyway, uh, we're still a couple hours away from being home. I'm so excited to be home because... Ugh. We're going to pick up the pup. Hi, little dog. Hi. Family's back. The family's back together. The family's back together. The family's back together. Including our dog named Trucks. Including our dog named Trucks. We just got buckets. We're very happy. We're very excited. The vlog will now return to normal after today. What kind of normal? Yeah, kind of normal. But anyway. That, that's it for today. We're gonna enjoy our time with our pup for the rest of the day. We love you all. See you tomorrow. Keep being tossum.